hello to you hello to all of you 1050 ti users today i'm going to help you with help you to overclock your 1050 ti uh, which is the winforce g1 edition with six pin power um, overclocking this card is a little tricky there are many videos on youtube that help you overclock but i have tried and failed every time whenever i would mm, try to do it and it would always result in fps drops so after extensive research and lots of panicking when PC wouldn't start, I finally hit the sweet spot that I have no issues playing with. So to get started, you're gonna first need Gigabyte X Extreme Edition, which is here. If you look at that, so let's run it. Mm, yes. And here it is um, if you can see in the OC edition that um, this won't show when you first install it from the link below uh, I have a link in the description this won't show this there will be a picture of uh, gigabytes 1070 extreme edition but to fix that I can you have to do this first um, install that from the link below then go to settings and check for updates after uh, if you check for updates there will will be one update install it then it will then you'll come here after coming here um, advance if you are really not into taking risk or um, experimenting with it then you can choose from OC and gaming modes but I like to get the maximum out of my 1050 G1 edition so to do that you have come in OC um, GPU clock you have to do it uh, 110 uh, many videos suggest that you have to do 130 and go up from there please don't do that I already tried it will result in fps drops and i play grand theft auto 5 which is always on in oc mode or gaming mode i get 60 fps whenever i tried um, 130 uh, on megahertz boost uh, plus 130 uh, it would always end up in failure um, in current when you do 130 if you do this to 130 then it would suddenly go to like 1936 or 1924 megahertz uh, which will cause your graphics card to be unstable and it will either crash your game or your fps will drop and the game you'll get black screen and etc and etc many kinds of problems you'll not get the maximum performance your get the opposite it will downgrade your performance so leave it in 110 if you want to and this can be different for any kind this can be different for for other cards too i can't help with that you have to test it out but the sweet spot i found for gigabytes 1050 ti uh, oc edition that is 16 is 110 megahertz for memory clock you need to go up thousand full thousand and power voltage plus 25 percent and that's it the these two i i don't need them and then hit apply <sighs> after that what you want to do is download msi afterburner uh, which comes with uh, for it's for benchmarking and testing how much your how much megahertz are you getting after installing uh, msi afterburner with this let's minimize this um what you want to do is go to settings oh a cockroach uh settings monitoring oh so didn't i leave it in 100 uh you want to do do this to 100 uh, damn um again monitoring then you have to gpu temperature show it on display gpu usage show it on display core clock show it on on screen display memory clock show on screen display 
and you get it uh, frame rate this one will be unticked just tick it like this uh, then again show it on display then CPU temperature and CPU usage and RAM usage and these are the ones you need to uh, show on display then click OK then you have this uh, Revita tuner statistics servers uh, 5.0 something uh, turn this on and here we see on screen on screen display support on and set it to turn this on and set it to raster 3d uh, yellow it will be pink I think uh, turn it to yellow it's it's much more visible that way and that's it just minimize it and minimize this you don't need to do anything with it and that's more problematic than and I found gigabyte extreme engine much more reliable then start valley benchmarks and if you start valley benchmarks um, you don't need full screen keep it to windowed or full screen it's your choice so um, you see here is 1924 but it will drop down to 1911 and frame rate is memory clock is 4000 and 4 megahertz so that's it in games it will stay like this for a few seconds then drop to 1911 and you can play your games with maximum uh, GPU and maximum frame rates and get the most out of your GPUs um, thank you guys hope you enjoy it this is purely to help you guys we are struggling with overclocking and to, trying to get the most out of your 1050 G g1 edition graphics card um, if you enjoyed this video thank you subscribe and like it it will really help me out